guess because the Joker's in the title, I'm playing Batman Return of the Joker on NES. It's a follow-up to the first Batman game on NES. They couldn't wait for the next movie to come out, so they had to make an instant sequel. Unlike the first game where you have the option to punch or switch between an inventory of weapons, this game basically gives you one weapon, a bat gun. You can get a lot of upgrades to this weapon, but I can't help but find it strange that Batman is just going around shooting people with infinite ammo and never using his fists. For an NES game, the graphics are good, and the music, once again, is awesome. Seems like Sunsoft games always have good music. Blaster Master, Fester's Quest... Yeah, I said that. You can even make Batman dance to the music, because when you press up, he turns his head. Oh, the bat dance! <laughs> I don't know what purpose that has. But when you get to the boss, the music sounds incredibly familiar. Mega Man 2? Yeah, it, it does sound like it. Just a lot faster, that's all. Once you get to the third stage, the game gets way too difficult way too fast. You're slipping around on the ice trying not to fall, and all these tornadoes keep flying at you. Even after a lot of trial and error, it's still next to impossible not to get hit by these things. Come on, you fucking tornado piece of shit. I know you're there. Just inching forward. I know you're there. Fuck! There's also the traditional annoying backwards fall bullshit. Whenever you get hit, you fly back, right? You're familiar with that. But here, even if you're facing in the other direction, you get sucked back into the hole. What in the holy mother of fuck is that about? That doesn't even follow the laws of physics. Then there's the falling ceiling gag, you know, for you to get by, they have to fall, there's no other option. If you stand under it, it kills you. To get it down, you stand under it. What a paradox. Look at this pandemonium, there's a fucking ceiling waiting to come down and kill me, there's a guy throwing an oil drum, if I try to get out of the way I get hit by these rotating blades and shit. I take the guy down and then I try to set off the ceiling trap and... I'm dead. <laughs> So I try it again, and this time I just carefully step to the edge, just taking baby steps, you know. God! This game's fucking brutal! It doesn't even make any sense! Come on, you piece of shit! Fuck! Okay, so I'm trying to jump onto a moving platform while somebody's shooting at me. How the hell does that work? Oh shit. Whoa, I got lucky there. So I'm just going to try to shoot him from across the hole, but as you can see, I can't. I just got to get on there. Ass! One more try. I just can't get hit. Come on, come on, you motherfucker! Ah! Thank God. And how do you like this? You can actually get blocked by a power-up. But he can still shoot through. That's not fair. Oh, it's so unfair. <laughs> it's like they deliberately programmed this thing to be a means of torture. There's also a slide move, but I never found a safe time to use it, so half the time I forgot I had it. The only thing easy about this game are the bosses, except for the Joker, he's impossible. So overall, it's really not the worst Batman game, it's not really that bad of a game in general, it just has some things about it that oh, suck. Oh, would so, you like to play a bad game, Batman? How no, about the Game Boy version, Return of the Joker? <laughs> Have fun, motherfucker! <laughs> okay... Return of the Joker on Game Boy. The game begins, and what does it sound like? I don't know why I'm making all these observations. I guess I just have Mega Man on the mind. So, anyway, it's completely different from the NES version. Your main attack is punching, but you can also collect other weapons. And the wall jump is back, too, so it's actually more like the first NES game. But there's also a grappling hook, which is really annoying because you can never get it to work when you need it to work. It's like Jungle Hunt. Did you ever play Jungle Hunt? <laughs> and other times, it just has a mind of its own. The control is overly complicated. It seems they should have just had the wall jump or the grappling hook, not both. Here there's deadly sewer water rising up. I'm desperately trying to make my way to the platforms, but instead I keep bouncing around the place. Alright, so I'm just trying to get the power up that's up there. I'm trying to do the wall jump and the fucking grappling hook's going off. Ah, I missed again. Alright, here we go. Just want to get... There we go. Okay, see, so I got the power up. Now I just want to land on that thing, but it isn't even... And then the grappling hook goes off. I don't want to go that way. I want to go to the right. Alright, I made it. But now the wall jump, like, sends me back. It's like, I didn't want to go back. I want to go to the right. 
The controls are like trying to get a horse to wipe its ass on an eagle. And I really hate that grappling hook. Okay, now jump. Fuck! All right, here we go again. Fuck! I swear that these games were programmed by the Joker. Oh, I can't believe this. Get up there! Get up there! That's it. I can't play this game anymore. I can't even finish the first fucking level. What are you playing? Return of the Joker? Didn't you just play Return of the Joker? Return of the Joker, Return of the Joker. Well, how about Revenge of the Joker for the Sega Genesis? Return of the Joker, Revenge of the Joker. Return, Return, Revenge, Return, Revenge. Okay, so this is not Return, but Revenge of the Joker. To start off with, it looks promising enough. It's basically a 16-bit version of the NES game Return of the Joker. Why does it take so long to destroy the crates? All it is is just a power-up. It should take one shot. It's like in Fester's Quest, all those fucking purple blobs you gotta shoot. Oh, so you have a kick? I got it. Alright, kick for the crates and firepower for everything else. What's with the gargoyle statues? You shoot them and get nothing. What's the point? And why does it hurt you to touch them? Batman can't even touch a fucking statue? Then you get these live gargoyle statues, ones that attack. Oh, die. Shoot them in the head and nothing happens. Shoot them down in the, like, midsection, nothing happens. Oh my god. It's like, what am I supposed to do here? I just keep shooting them and nothing happens. Alright, so this doesn't- I'm trying to slide into them, nothing happens. Oh my god, I'm fucking dead. Alright, this time I'm gonna try jumping over. That doesn't work either! I try hitting them in every spot that I can. Okay, so you can kill them? I just don't know how to do it, but- Oh, you motherfucker! Damn! Okay, so what's with this fucking bullshit? What, do they just die whenever they feel like it? Like, is it a glitch, or is it like some obscure trick that I don't know about? It's just the first level of the game. Again, the first fucking level, and I can't go any further. I've had enough of this catastrophe. Let the guy go in there after you! I'm sick of this shit. I've had enough of this shit. Come on. Holy bad shit!